Hello everyone. Today we're going to make the flower from my floral note note card. We're going to use our stitched floral thin cuts and the fringe thin cut from our border collection. As you can see, I've already inked these flowers with ballerina ink on the centers and around the edges. Now I'm going to cut in between each one of the petals. Each one of these flowers is designed to lay flat, but we're going to produce a three-dimensional flower. And that's why I'm cutting in between each one of the petals so that I can have that three-dimensional look. This one is cut out of vellum. It just adds a little bit more dimension to my flower. You'll see that I'm also going to cut the fringe in half. After the petals are cut, you can use a bone folder to roll each petal downwards. Whoops, looks like I forgot to cut a petal. I can go ahead and fix that. I like to fold my petals down like I'm curling ribbon. I just run the bone folder along the bottom of each petal, running my thumb along the top, and that just creates the nice curl. Some people like to spritz water on their flowers for better shaping. I find that it risks the cardstock tearing easier, so I don't do that. I also have one cut out of vellum that I'm going to roll down just like the cardstock one. It's very easy to do using the bone folder. No special shaping tools are required. For shaping flowers, I like to fold my petals up in the center. This just adds a little bit more depth and dimension to each one of my flowers. Like I said, no special tools required. I just use my fingers and I fold each one of those petals up, creating a little crease in the center. Once I've completed this, then I'm going to layer all of those flowers. I like to use 3D foam dots. You can choose to just use one dot in between each layer or two dots for added dimension. Sometimes I've been known to use three dots so I can create a really fluffy flower. I'm laying each of the flower layers right on top of each other, rotating them slightly with each layer. I don't have to worry about the foam dot showing through the vellum because that fringe center when it's rolled up to create the stamens is going to hide that in the end. How cute is this flower? Now we can work on the center of the flower using that fringe cut. Using a quilling tool, roll the fringe into a tube. I've done this quite a few times with different flowers and some of you may have seen this technique before. I'm going to go ahead and adhere the ends with liquid glass. I love our new liquid glass applicator. If you haven't seen it, you need to stop by my website and check it out. Once the ends are sealed and it's dried a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and roll down that fringe to create the look of a stamen. Just spread the fringe apart a little bit, then grab them in groups and roll them down. This does take a little bit of time and some patience, but I promise you the outcome is worth the effort. I love the look that this little fringe die gives to the center of a flower. How fun is that? Once it's complete, I'm going to go ahead and grab some liquid glass again, apply it to the bottom of the fringe, and then add it to the center of my flower. Now that the flower is complete, it's ready to be added to the card. You can add shimmer using a clear shimmer brush like I did. Just remember, it will cause the vellum to roll a little bit. Have a wonderful day, friends. I can't wait to see what you create.